Well, it's Friday the 26th and Halloween is just around the corner. Uh, Monday we're doing a costume party at the Wheel Connect event and uh, I just realized I haven't gotten my costume made yet. So we're heading back over here to the Salvation Army and uh, I need to find a tricycle. I know that sounds weird, but bear with me. Oh man, people are weird. Well, I didn't find a tricycle there, but I came through the door and turned and started to go straight in and accelerated just a little bit in my chair, not like, not past like half speed or anything like that. But this lady that was literally eight to 10 feet away from me standing in the check stand, when I started going and when I went into the store, she was like, whoa, and like does the little rat dance thing like you do when you think there's rats running around your ankles. <laughs> I don't understand that. It's like, I'm like the length of a small compact car away from you. Like, how did I startle you? Okay, um, I'm scheming where else I could find a tricycle. Maybe Craigslist. I don't think I've ever seen any at regular Goodwill stores. These sort of dumpy other thrift stores typically are the place to get them. Uh, let me search Google Maps a little more and see, see if there's any other uh, questionable thrift stores around here. Yep, this is Ashley, how can I help you? Hey, do you guys by chance happen to have any of those old school metal tricycles? Um, uh, I can definitely take a look on the floor if you give me one moment. I'd appreciate it, thanks. Yeah. It's about working smart, not working hard. I don't want to get in that, I don't want to get in and out of this van more times than I have to. It doesn't look like we have any right now. Um. All right, we will somehow find one of these things. Actually, let me check Walmart. Maybe they don't cost that much new. Well, I did a little bit of looking around online and it looks like for the costume to work, I need one of the old school radio flyer trikes with the big curved handles. Unfortunately, those are like $60 new and there's only one on Craigslist for $15, but it's not very close to here. Now, see, I'd be a little bit uh, more open to going in and out of all these thrift stores if I had my other van, but it still has that gasoline leak, or leaks, plural. So I'm in this van and I have to transfer, I have to transfer in and out of my chair anytime I want to get out of this thing. And that uses a lot of energy. So we're gonna just see if we can figure out how to do this by uh, not doing a whole lot. I just realized something. I drove the last three miles with my left-hand turn signal on. <laughs> oh, maybe I am getting old. I'm getting desperate here. I'm at a religious thrift store now, and not one of the Deseret Industries ones. I actually love those. This is something a little more, um, well, it's also not Catholic, but I decided I should probably uh, show you guys what I'm trying to do here because I just had some more thoughts uh, while I was headed over here. This probably won't, okay. Uh, so this is the guy I wanna be. Um, I'm obviously not gonna be able to make the mask, or I'm not gonna be able to buy the mask, so I'll have to make it, but check it out. He's sitting on a radio flyer. So what I wanna do is get the front, uh, get a tricycle, uh, cut the front half off, yeah, here we go. Uh, basically detach the front half and slide it sort of under my seat pan. But then I was realizing on the way over here, I need to get some little kids pants and black shoes like this so I can attach them to the pedals. And uh, then I'll just sort of like hang some, hang some fabric over the bottom of my legs and uh, make it look like my feet are on this tricycle thing. It's gonna be probably sitting right up here instead of down where my feet actually are. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think this should be pretty doable. I just needed to look at the picture though. He's got black pants and um, black shoes. Oh, I suppose I probably should get a bow tie or something too and a suit coat. I have no idea what I have no idea what this thrift store actually has. Um, so it should be interesting to go in here and see what there is. Um, it's Friday and the costume contest thing isn't until Monday. So I do have a little bit of time. 
but uh, it's not raining right now. So here we go. Two more transfers into my chair. Well, this place didn't have much, but they did have some slightly moldy uh, dress shoes for $3 and 75 cents. So the smallest ones I could find. So that's uh, definitely a start. Uh -huh. Hey, I was looking for a thrift store. Do I have the right number? No. All right, sorry. Okay, so Google Maps has the incorrect listing for that place. They seemed annoyed, <laughs> like maybe people always call. Uh, I was just looking around on the interwebs. Uh, turns out that thrift store is now closed. Hey, I'm trying to find an old school kid's tricycle. Do you guys have anything like that that you know of? Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, one second, let me put you on hold. All right, thanks. Oh yeah, just like a radio flyer type thing. Nah, we do not have any right now. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. Uh-huh. I'm gonna continue looking around. There's gotta be something. Okay, we found a place that says they have a radio flyer one. It's pink and red. I don't know if that means it's made out of metal or what exactly. So we're going to head over there. Let's see where it is. Oh, that's actually pretty close by. Okay. <laughs> I, who would have thought that trying to find something like that is so incredibly difficult? This next place I'm going to look like from the pictures on Google Maps that they have stairs out front. So this might be interesting. Oh snap, I see it. It's right out there. So when they said pink and red, actually the paint is just faded. So it's not technically pink. All right, sweet. Uh, there's a little tricycle out front I want to grab. Oop, actually I just knocked that one over. Do you want to grab that? Awesome, thanks. All right, we have acquiesced a small child's tricycle. Um, it was, it was ten dollars. So that seems like. Uh, some sort of price that's probably good. All right, there we go. That place was a little bit on the strange side. I think the people that work there also live there. Now we can go to the regular Goodwill and get the rest of the stuff I need, like some pants and a suit coat and maybe a bow tie. Uh, the mask though, I'm not sure. I'll have to make that out of something. All right, and we've gotten a lot of the rest of the stuff here. There's like a suit coat, some pants, a shirt, some really small pants. I think we'll call that good for now. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the craft store to do the rest of it. It'll probably be tomorrow or something maybe, but more importantly, coffee. There are two fairly important things occurring right now. The most important one, however, is apparently McRib is back at McDonald's. Uh, only certain locations, but I guess there's a bunch of them. Now, I haven't had one in like four years because ever since they started the uh, breakfast all day, uh, they said their kitchens have been a little bit too stressed and busy to have additional products that come and go occasionally. But it's been long enough now and I think in some other cities uh, they have had it occasionally, but it's been four years. It is the best and worst thing ever. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go try and I, I'm gonna go try and find one of those. A friend texted me last night and said uh, that he had just had one. So yeah. Also, uh, need to finish the costume. I looked around online and I think I found a mask at uh, one of the Halloween party store type places. I tried calling them to see if they had it in stock, and nobody answers the phone. Like, I let it ring for a good five or six minutes. <laughs> no one picked up. So I'm just going to head over there. Uh, we're going to snatch a McRib and see if I can find that mask for my costume. If not, um, probably just go to the craft store and make something. And actually, come to think of it, I need to go to the craft store anyways. Uh, so I'm going to switch into the steampunk chair here and uh, get going. My green van is still not working. Well, it is working, but it's leaking fuel. So I have to use this chair because my white van will not lift the C500, it's too heavy. So let's see, what color do we want to have here today on our LEDs? I normally run with green, um, just because it kind of matches the control buttons, you know, on the chair. Our options are blue, maybe red. 
Uh, or there's always the mode that responds to sound. Whenever I talk, you know, it says something. I think that attracts too much attention though. We'll just stick with the green. It's a solid choice, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot that was still in here. <laughs> Some guy going nuts in his airplane, like doing loop-de-loops and weird aerobatic stuff. Acrobatic, aerobatic. I don't know what the correct term for that would be, but making a lot of noise and looping and not flying straight. Um, so I just got here to this Halloween store. I don't know why I thought a Saturday afternoon, four days before Halloween was gonna be the time to go to one of these places. I'm sitting here and about every 30 seconds, there's 20 people walking in and out of that place. Um, huh. And I can see through the door, it's just like standing room only in there, like it's packed. Which also leads me to believe there's probably really long lines if you want to buy something. And or they're out of everything. Explains now why they're not answering the phone. Um, I think what I'm going to do, let's see, how late are these guys open? Looking up on my phone here. Ah, they're open till 11 p.m. Okay, what I'm going to do is come back at like maybe 10.30 tonight. There's no way everyone and their kids are gonna be wandering around this place that late. Which leads me to a much more interesting thing. Time for McRib. Good afternoon, Ms. Donald. Hey, do you guys have the McRib at that location? Uh, we don't have it until Monday. All right, thank you. Uh -huh, bye. Oh no. Am I gonna have trouble finding this thing? Uh, all right, let's start calling different McDonald's, I guess. Do you guys have the McRib at that location? No, we don't have yet. All right, thank you. Uh, hey, do you guys have a McRib at that location? Uh, McRib doesn't start till Monday. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Hey, do you guys have McRib at that location? It's coming back on the 29th. All right, thank you. Okay, I know there is a McDonald's you can get it at, but I don't want to drive all the way there to get it, so we're going to call these last two. Please enter your... McDonald's, this is Aurora speaking. How may I help you? Hey, do you guys have the McRib at that location? Uh, not yet. That will be starting on Monday. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Okay, I'm going to look up the McDonald's that my friend went to and see if this is actually a thing or not. Uh, all right, here we go. Moment of truth. This is a really exceptionally greasy McDonald's. They may not even answer the phone. I actually almost got arrested inside this McDonald's that I'm calling once. <laughs> that was a weird day. Hey, McDonald's, large group punch. Hey, do you guys have the McRib at that location? Yes, we do. All right, thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and start moving a little further across the map and see if we can find one that's a little bit closer. McDonald's, I'm Michigan. How can I help you? Hey, do you guys have McRib at that location? Not yet. We're close. I was only by the 29th. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now this last one I'm about to call is... One of the ones that is kind of rogue. They sort of do whatever they want. So, we shall see. They did just go through a big remodel though and they might be corporately owned now, so we'll find out. Hey, do you guys have McRib at that location? Yes, we do, we, never, we started this week. All right, so you have it, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, bye. Well, we're, enc we're uh, encountering a little bit of traffic here, but we're well on our way to this McDonald's that has the McRib. At least they better. We are now arriving at the magical facility. Oh boy, is there a line in the drive-thru. Um, I think I might go inside, actually. Yeah, we'll go inside. And actually, I think I've decided I'm going to order on my phone and then just go inside and grab it.
That way I don't have to deal with the people. Holy crap, it's four dollars? One for me, one for a friend. Wait a minute, I just realized that I don't even have to get out of the van. Huh, sweet. Uh, curbside pickup. Welcome to America. All right, we've moved this hoopty over one space and hopefully my food will come out shortly. Yeah, I don't know if you can notice, but um, everyone's like lined up all the way to the door from the counter. So it's uh, a little bit packed in there. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh boy, we got him. Now let's get the heck out of here. It's now the moment of truth. Yep, looks about like I remembered it. Awesome. I do believe I am temporarily cured from that meat-like pork substitute sandwich thing. Um, <laughs> ah, that was easy. Got it out of my system early this year. Well, not this year, it's been four years, but whatever. I just came to this craft store, and then I realized I probably shouldn't go in here yet until I've been to the costume store, which I'm gonna do later tonight. Um, so I just got into my chair and realized, wait a second, why am I going in here? What am I gonna buy? The answer to that is nothing. So costume store later tonight. If I can't find what I need there, then we'll come back here tomorrow which is Sunday. And uh, I think we should have uh, everything we need. I think right now I'm gonna head back and rest for a little while, get the ventilator hooked up because uh, it's one of those days. All right, so it wasn't raining here earlier today and now it's now it's raining kind of a lot. I just got soaked getting into the van. Luckily I left my hoodie in here. Um, I know normally if you're gonna go outside in the rain, you put something on and then it gets all wet and you take it back off, but does it work the other way? Like my shirt is soaked, but this hoodie is dry. So if I put this on now, will, will the water soak out of my shirt into this thing? Or is that not how it works? Oh, all right, this is, yeah. Anyways, it's, um, it's like 8.15. I'm gonna head back over to that Halloween store and uh, see if they have what I'm looking for. They still won't answer the phone. I tried calling again. At least this fan has a UVL or a under vehicle lift so that the, uh, the ramp doesn't dump all the water into the interior. It's stowed underneath the van, so it helps keep it a little bit more dry in here. Um, okay, I just ate way too much food for dinner and I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go check it out. All right, we're pulling up to this rat shack now. Uh, it still appears to be mediumly busy, but... Oh, there's parking. So that's something. Definitely raining. Okay, I think... I think we're good to go inside this place. Um... We have acquiesced all the necessary things. Only took about 20 minutes or so to get through that line, so that wasn't too bad, I guess, but got a mask and a wig. Uh, that's pretty much all you could ask for in life, right? Okay, uh, we, have, we have some assorted stuff now. I wasn't sure I'd be able to find one of these masks, but... Uh, here we go. There it is. And of course you need a wig to go with it. And it sort of looked like a punk rock style wig. Uh, so I figured that would work. And then of course, I can't write, but I figured this was, is it broken? I think it's broken. 
Uh, there we go. Wait, no. Okay, well, anyways, this is a ballpoint pen, but apparently it doesn't work. Um, anyways, my suit coat here. I couldn't find a white shirt, so I just got the lightest color one they had, which was sort of green. By the way, this is stuff from Goodwill the other day. And then I got some slacks and the shoes and black pants for a small child. Um, I think between all that, I'm gonna attach the... I'm going, I'm going to attach the shoes to the pedals on this thing. And I was just looking, I can take this thing apart without actually cutting it and get it mounted up here. So I think we're well on our way. Tomorrow I should be able to get this costume actually set up and uh, got everything I need. I've pretty much figured out how to attach the uh, front half of that tricycle to my chair. I didn't really film much of that, but I'm headed over to the hardware store now and I'm gonna get some bracketry and some other stuff. I'm, I'm relatively sure how I'm gonna do it, but this is one of those times where I just go to the hardware store and kind of look around and see what I see and then kind of come up with stuff on the fly. But um, I think here in an hour or two, we should be good. Pretty much the last thing I need to do is get the trike mounted to the front of the chair, and then uh, a few other random minor things with some hot glue, and we'll be set to go. The other thing with this project, too, is I'm, I'm mounting it to my chair in a sort of non-destructive way. That way I'm not actually cutting the thing up or whatnot. I was able just to remove a bunch of the fasteners and screws that hold it together and uh, take apart the front half. So I'd like to be able to put the thing back together when I'm done potentially use it for another project. And here we are. A hardware store, kind of, but not really. Well, I kind of forgot to film in the store, but I got some stuff here. Eh, I'll show you when I get back. I'm really hoping this works. Um, what we have here is a piece of galvanized threaded pipe which should be the appropriate size for this tricycle to slide into. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. And then we're going to mount this right here. That way I can slide that thing in and out fairly easily. And to attach that, I've got a few of these U-clamps. So, Let's see if we can make this uh, be attached to that. That was remarkably easier than I thought. Um, I may have to lower this a little bit so I don't catch my leg on this because it's kind of sharp. But just using this one clamp, um, I don't have it really tight, it's just finger tight. I think we should be good. I was envisioning having to use one here and then another one going up here and doing all sorts of craziness. But I think, um, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's gonna work just fine. <laughs> Excellent. All right, cool. Uh, well, let me go ahead and tighten this thing down the rest of the way. And as you can see, it's just super easy to remove because, you know, I need to be able to get in and out of my chair and do stuff. I don't want to attach there permanently. Uh, cool. We are gonna call that good. We've got uh, a U-clamp kind of going around the bottom here, which interfaces with this one, and that keeps it from rotating. And this one here holds it flat to this square tube here. Uh, the only thing I'm not gonna be able to do with this on here is adjust my leg rests, but everything else should work just fine. And uh, I think this is gonna be a really good solid mounting uh, solution for this thing. All right, cool. Well, that was pretty much the hard part. Now all I have to do is 
probably tighten this up and do a few other minor things to this and we will be good to go. I probably should have gotten some smaller shoes, but these are what I'm planning on attaching to the pedals. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably just get some uh, deckers or sheetrock screws and run them through the pedals into the bottom of these shoes. And then I've got some uh, random pant legs I'm going to attach to those. I'll see how that works out. I may abandon that whole thing. Just having the tricycle along with my costume might be enough. But uh, let's see what we can figure out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I might. I think I might just ditch the part of this where there's shoes and pant legs connected to it. Um, I think between the costume and the suit and the wig and the mask and everything, the idea should get across pretty good. So um, I think we're just going to ditch the shoes and the pants uh, for now. They're going to connect to them. That just adds a layer of complexity that kind of blocks this off and makes it a little bit more difficult to see what's going on. So anyways, uh, yeah. Now all we have to do is uh, put it all together and see how it works. can't really see out of this thing at all. I might have to enlarge the eye holes a little bit. But uh, I think we get the point across here. All right, wearing that is very warm, I'm not gonna lie. Not so much warm as your breath kind of condensates inside the mask. Um, I do need to get a bow tie though. I kind of forgot about that part. That's the one last piece of this puzzle. But I think we're good.